Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the $10,000 Invitational Tournament, Day 4. Yesterday we made loads of progress, we got 80 magic for the Charge Spell, Entangle and Sara Strike. So we are ready to PK, today is the day we're going PK. However, first of all I need to make some money, Blue Dragons aren't the best of money right now but it's pretty much the only safe way of me really making, you know, a decent amount of money basically I need to save up for some runes to actually go peak game because yeah like peak game runes are just so expensive right now so I've just got to save up for loads of supplies and uh, yeah hopefully make some money by peaking from now on so let's do this okay there we go there is 83 range dragon bones have finally gone up in price the Pretty much going for like 3k so i'm making loads of money off this but i am ready to pk i have done so many events of this i've just gone from 81 to 83 range of blue dragons so yeah we are geared to go pk okay ladies and gentlemen it is finally time to go pk to skull up to risk everything on the line when there's only two days to go till the ten thousand dollar final but yeah the first place we are checking is the desert What the hell? We just traveled past them. No, come back. Betty's up here. Oh, he's there. I'm on him. I oh, know. I'm on him. Oh, baby, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What? The oh, KO. Let's go. MSP KO. Oh my good lord. That is a bank. Oh my god, I just PK bank. Holy shit. No fucking way. That was insane. That was insane. Oh my god. Holy shit, that was insane. We've got two bank keys, his key, and whoever he killed. Let's see. 200. Oh, 81 sharks. I will be take one GP. He really killed someone for one GP. But that is a pretty good key right there. I am happy about that 81 shark. Oh my god, I could have KO'd him! That was so- Oh my god, wow. So as you can see, yes, we are sculled up at my favourite place, the Blue Dragons. However, it's only me and a friend, and we don't have Ancients. We're sort of just PKing for fun, because for the content, of course. But yeah, PKing at Blue Dragons, it really didn't go well. It's just like, we're just not strong enough. Everyone's just stacked full of food and like... Just Sara Strike and the MSB is just not strong enough. In the past few Deadman modes, you know, we've had Barrage, we've had Whips, you know, everything, you know, to actually kill these people and, you know, always having at least three people to tag off all the blue dragons. But yeah, but yeah, it was, it was worth a try and we will be back the next season. Okay, so there's not one person at Graveyard Dragon. So we're now off to Crazy Archaeologist because that's a way you can get a Rune Crossbow. And Rune Crossbows are literally a few hundred K right now. And then we've got West Dragons, East Dragons. We've got loads of places to check. However, Wildy is a death trap. No, not a single person at Graveyards or West. Yeah, so we checked Graveyard, Green Dragons, West Dragons, Crazy Archaeologist, no one. Then we bumped into this guy and managed to smite him down with a Sara Strike and the Smite. So he's out of prayer, however he ran into the Ankus, and because we only had me and my friend, and he managed to X-Log. Fuck. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful. Should be dead here. And there we go, good fight. Wrong place. Sad? Sad? What? It doesn't make any sense. Yo, we didn't really get anything off that, but Lava Battle Staff? Nah. Okay, here we go. Um, checking the rogues chest, which is exactly what I did the last invite. I reckon someone could be here, but we're in multi, so I could actually easily die right now. I'm not even going to lie about that one. Here we go. Is someone here? Oh, someone's here. Someone's here. We need to kill him quick. We need to kill him quick. Get your specs out. Get your specs out. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. We got this. We got this. He could be one of those mules. There we go. He's dead. Oh, God. I'm scared. Okay, yeah, he did just start. Okay, you never know. There could be someone killing... Cl oh my god. No way. No way. 
Rum. <laughs> yeah, basically there was a clan killing Callisto. So, um, plan B, fucking run. Run for your fucking life. We are in multi, just fucking run. And because my mate was behind, they ended up catching up to him. He went into the resource arena. One of them had the resource arena cash. He ended up entangling them straight away for that 15 second freeze, managed to log out underneath them with an entangle. If he had the pro mage uh, up, yeah, he would have died. He was so clutch there. We logged out for like 20 minutes and yeah, uh, we were separated. Right, so next I checked the Zamrock wines to see if anyone's tally grabbing them for, of course, ranging potions. And just out of surprise, I was not expecting this. I see two white dots and I'm not even sure what to do. Should I run away or are they going to run away? Like, am I meant to be running away or am I going to kill them? And I end up catching up to one of them. He manages to make it all the way to Edgeville and my MSB is sort of stopping him banking and the amount of times I could have KO'd him quite very easily. So he gets food out, he's out of run energy, it's time to run to the Grand Exchange for the tank test. I said. No way. Don't you dare. No way. No way. No way. Oh my god. No way. No way. No way. No fucking way did that just happen. Oh my god. He almost escaped on 2 HP. Oh. That, I just. I just quit the de-entangle. Just fucking hit him with the MSB. Fuck it. This is where it ends. I'm sorry. That is the last of the peak gain. Uh, I ended up dying and I didn't get it on record like I recorded all this and I must have paused it and then I thought I was recording but I wasn't but basically we got some guy in multi and basically it was a bait and we got a uh, yeah I, I, I died in multi but the thing is I was literally a step away from the chaos altar and uh, my friend actually escaped through the chaos altar and I had a chaos talisman I was literally two steps away i'm not even joking man but it's all good we had our fun of peak gain this is not meant to be a peak gain tournament like i said before we're meant to be prepping there's just not enough time to pk we just need to be getting the stats but yeah we had our good share of peak gain the seasonal is where we fuck shit up and you guys know that but yeah i'm kind of gutted because i didn't get to cash in the keys i reckon we would have got some really good loot but anyway Hope you enjoyed that bit of PK and that. Okay, so yeah, we had a little bit of fun PK, game, but now it's down to some serious training. We've only got like a day and a little bit till the final day to win that $10,000. So I have decided I am going to get 55 Slayer for the Broad Bolts to speed up training so I can get my ranged and defense up. That's all I'm getting up now. I want to be a ranged tank. So yeah, once we get that ring crossbow and the broad bolts, all I'm going to do is just train, train, train till the final day and boom. Holy shit, that task took a very long time. 45 Slayer. I'm going to have to use the one in Edgeville, which obviously isn't the safest place to go. And also, yeah, we're going to get some really crap task. Oh God, I'm dreading it. Not going to lie. I don't really know what task I want, but gals, <laughs> great. <sighs> oh my good lord. Dragon Fire Breath, Rank 1 Magic, Barrage, Arims, Carols, Carols Crossbow. Looking really good. Oh my god, have I just escaped? <gasps> oh. My. God. <sighs> yeah, so if he's the most overpowered person in the game, and you just witnessed that right there, he just ran away from me. Does that not make me the best PKer in the game? Tovesta hash one. Okay, um, we're going back. We, yeah, we're going back. I have to get 55 slayer, you know? See, he's walking away again. He's scared. Here's the thing about having gals or ghouls as a slayer task. When they go low HP, they just run away and then I'm going to get PJ by another one. Okay, look, look, we'll see what I mean. Like, how the hell am I going to complete my slayer task? What's the next task going to be? We're, by the way, we're 46 slayer. Pretty much 47. God damn it, man. I don't even know what a good task would be from this slayer master. 
The reason why I'm not going to Veneca is because I've not done Lost City, and no, I'm not doing quests. Till not the Slayer Master, fuck that shit, man. Not good time for that. Right, so we completed that task without any problems. Not the best of XP. 49 Slayer. Every time I kill one, I have to use a bag of salt on it. I'm up. Okay, that's that Slayer task complete. Got us to 51 Slayer. Okay, so, um, I'm into a bit of a problem. Uh, there's a guy with barrage, as you could just see then, uh, in Edgeville, and uh, my slay my slay master's in Edgeville. This is a bit of a, a bit of a problem here, okay? So, uh, can I just go get a slay task, please? Leave me alone. Look at me, I've got a bow crossbow. I can't do anything. He, look, he's just there, man. I can't do anything. So we're now on to day five. I didn't want to end day four on a death and I wanted to get broad bolts, but it was like four in the morning and you know, the video wasn't even edited and I couldn't even get to my Slayer Master. So, you know, I'm going to be joining day four and day five. You guys asked for longer episodes. So yeah. And today is the day where, you know, it's the day before and everything is about 20 times the price. Broad bolts are going for like 560 each. Ranging pot 20k, like, people are just spending all the money because now coins are pretty much useless. Everyone wants just, everyone just wants supplies and gear for the last day. So, yeah. So we've made it to the Slayer Master. What task are we going to get? That is the question. I wouldn't mind blue dragons. That'd be pretty cool. Pyre fiends. Okay, check this. The first Slayer task was cave crawlers. Then we went to rock slugs. Now we're going to Pyrefiends. We are just going deeper and deeper into this cave. And the deeper we get into that cave, the more dangerous it is getting. Clue scroll within what? Five kills? And there we go. There's 85 range. That's actually really high if you think about it. I'm not sure whether that's a second clue scroll. But yeah, I'm going to start training defense, uh, obviously, when I get the broad bolts. I just want to get 55 Slayer as soon as possible. So we're just using it on rapid right now. These Pyrefiends aren't are actually all right XP to be honest. Look at that, two medium clue scrolls on the floor. God, I didn't know Pyrefiends would like drop them so frequently. Okay, one more Slayer task. We're currently 54 Slayer. Please give me a good task. Ice Warriors. Okay, where the hell do I kill them? So the people back in pre EOC, who remembers Frost Dragon? I used to camp those all day. They were such good money. Holy shit. But yeah, I'm going to be killing Ice Warriors here. There we go. That should be it. 55 Slayer. Finally, in fact, while we're here, I'm going to check. Is anyone killing Wyverns? There must be. Yeah, there's a red dot there. They're going to be making bank. But yeah, there's 55 Slayer. Now it's non-stop training until till the final. And I'm not going to let you guys down. The range level isn't going to go as much. I'm basically just going to be leaving it on long range. And uh, see what defense level we can get. Okay, here we go. Now time for the defense training. These are the stats. 50 of defense, soon to be 51, 72 HP, and 85 range. Gonna get my prayer back up. There's 51 defense. And yeah, these broad bolts are so, so nice to use. I'm currently using them on long range, but watch. If I use it on rapid with eagle eye, they hit like a trill. This is awkward. There we go. Look at that, 28. By the way, broad bolts have the same range strength as adamant bolts. That's why they're so good. No one wants blue dragon hide. Everyone wants dragon bones to quickly get the prayer up. So dragon bones are going for at least 5k each. That's what I'm going to do. Trips will last longer, more XP per hour, less time banking, that sort of thing. Right, so there's 86 range. And also, when I can hit. Okay, there we go. There's 60 defense. Beautiful. Yeah, so after farming blue dragons, I managed to get 120 dragon bones. I'm just going to spend it all on prayer. I don't need the cash. And after a lot of grinding, 87 range. And we got 70 defense. Yo, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you like the long video, how long is it? Like 14 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. Give the video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for all the support recently. Like I say this every video, but it is fucking insane. And I appreciate it a lot. So, yeah, it is the final tomorrow. Maybe it's the final the day you're watching this, most likely. Because, like... It's like 3 a.m. right now and I have work at 9. The commitment is real. But anyway, I'm just going to go on rambling. Peace.